Hello, hello, and welcome back to Password. So, we had that uh, that cute scene in the greenhouse and the, the fishing, not fishing, well, you, you went to the river, right? That was all last part, right? Right? I didn't record a bunch of stuff in between that session and this one. No, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's not like I don't remember what I last did in Password. But, uh, other than that we're in Dean's route. <clears throat> but yeah, let's, uh, yeah, I can skip this dialogue, right? Uh, put me down to help. Really? Of course. Shouldn't be too hard, right? There's what? Orlando starts to count his fingers. Eight! All of us plus Benson, right? My eyes narrowed, uh, nodding slowly. There was only eight. Oswin didn't exist. I was a, it was a lie that I had decided to keep for now. Oh, I did. That was a day eight decision, right? Oh, okay. Let's. <clears throat> you can't tell? Uh, should I be able to? Given we picked some of these, yeah. I used some patty straws along with what I found in the kitchen. What about the rice, though? Garlic and butter, right? Otherwise it'd just be steamed rice, I think. Yep. Oh, okay, we can... Okay. <clears throat> With dinner behind me, I yawned. I didn't feel like I did much today, but I was, uh, but I was sure ready for bed. I was rubbing my eyes, and Dean stopped uh, behind, uh, before me, looking me over. <laughs> Tired? I, I guess so. Maybe the walk took more out of me than I thought. Want me to carry you up to bed? Oh, no. That's all right. I just, I don't know. Might take a shower and, and get comfortable. Well, all right. Uh, see you in the morning, then. Uh, well, I was assuming that I'd uh, see you when I got out of the shower. Oh, really now? I mean, if you're interested, I don't know much. Uh, don't know how much I'll be up for, but the offer is there. <laughs> well, all right. I'll see you upstairs. Not heading up just yet. If we're doing a do-over from last time, I should probably go get, uh, go get you another flower, right? Oh, no, that's all right. I, I don't need another flower. But you, but did you want one? It's no bother, really. You seem to like the last one. I did, but, um, I don't want another flower, not right now, anyway. Anything else I could bring you instead? A uh, bit late for coffee. I laughed, wondering if I should uh, make some weird lewd comment and risk him taking it too far. You don't need to bring anything, Dean. But what if I want to? Then surprise me. All right, I can do that. You sleeping in my bed or am I sleeping in yours? I thought back, thinking... Uh, about what might happen and the implications of using my room. The fact that my room was bugged made me hesitate to really want to do something, do anything uh, there uh, if I could avoid it. Uh, yours, I think. Then I guess I'll see you when you get out of the shower. I detoured to my room first to get some of them, some fresh clothes, plus a couple things before heading to Dean's. He still wasn't here, and it seems as though there was still a few clothes strewn about the floor rather than having been picked up. I straightened up the bed and sat my uh, pile of clothes near the end, uh, heading towards the bathroom nervously. The water was nice, and it was uh, enough to settle my nerves. Occasionally, I took a, I'd look over my shoulder, half expecting Dean to invite himself into the shower too. It seemed like something he'd do anyway. Then my mind started to wander. Dean stepped into the shower uh, behind me, putting his hand on my hips uh, to hold me steady, but then probably uh, say something flirty, and then he'd be naked. Well, 
I snuck a peek uh, and grumbled, realizing I had quickly riled myself up, uh, running my hands through my fur to the... Uh, my fur, I tried to distract myself by cleaning through uh, roughly, keeping my hands above the waist. After all, if I tended myself now, Dean would probably be annoyed after uh, hinting I might be interested in messing around. Then again, he'd probably respect my change of heart enough to not hold it against me. I stepped out of the uh, bathroom with a towel around my waist. I had given myself a quick blow dry, so my fur was fluffy and soft. Dean liked that, right? <laughs> well, well. He was sitting on the bed, uh, clad only in his underwear. He had had a shower when we uh, got in, if only because of his uh, muddy feet needed a dressing. <laughs> nice and clean? I nodded uh, quickly, shuffling to closer. Up or down? Inside or out? He laughed as I nodded. I wasn't uh, sure if he caught that I uh, paid attention to that, but he kept his smile all the same. His hands uh, found my sides just above the towel, and he pulled me forward, pressing his nose against my belly and snuffling again. It tickled, because it uh, causes me to squirm as I uh, kneaded my sides, hooking uh, a thumb under my towel. You're only wearing a towel? I yeah, I thought um that you showed me those uh, stripes after all. Well, maybe a look at least. I could feel myself getting hard, a small amount of uh, panic forming in the pit of my stomach, uh, given how close uh, Dean's chin was. Dean rubbed, uh, half a half a growl, half a chuckle. You're eager for this. N no, I'm just... Uh... One of Dean's hands uh, wandered higher, uh, cupping the side of my neck. He held his eyes as... Uh... Uh, on a held his eyes on mine as he pulled away my towel with the other hand, leaving me exposed. He looks down. He's uh, he'd get an eyeful for sure. I wasn't nearly as big as he, as his downstairs, but he was bigger all over in general. Maybe that's what I um felt so nervous. You doing all right? Still, his eyes were uh, locked on me, but I felt uh, the hand that removed my towel started uh, wandering lower, if slightly to the base of my tail. I, I, I think so. With his eyes on mine, and Dean stood before uh, turning us around and eagerly uh, and easing me um, uh, backwards onto the bed. He was uh, upon me again, kissing me firmly but gently, coaxing my... Uh, my mouth open and uh, using his tongue to deepen the kiss, I squealed, gasping out as uh, he pulled away. The predator grin made me uh, feel small, but as I watched his eyes uh, drop to look over me, I felt tucking my uh, tail wasn't going to do much mo anymore. He'd seen it all. His voice uh, had that satisfying rumble to it, uh, quiet without being a whisper. Well, well. Next came a whistle of appreciation, and I watched him look over me once more, thoroughly. When he reached my face, he wiggled his eyebrows at uh, <laughs> me upon catching my eyes. Out of instinct or something else, I don't know, my eyes dipped further down, and I saw how riled up he was getting. I was, uh... It was flattering, if making me a little nervous... He was as hard as I was, and it was only going to be a matter of time before something was going to happen. Still all good, Dave? I yeah, I think so. <laughs> good. My turn, then. Your turn to what? Well? With another toothy grin, he snaps the waistband of his underwear. I gulped, watching as once more his confidence uh, soared over mine as he bent over slightly, uh, sliding his underwear down. Wow, that's a good face. <laughs> uh, he kicked his uh, underwear away, standing before me, just as naked as I was. Standing there between my my legs is like is that Dean let his junk sit beside mine and uh, dwarfing me in all aspects. And no kidding that he was big, but having a direct comparison made me feel bad. Hey, it's all right. 
come with a comes with being a bear. My feeling must have shown through my expression as he uh, started to cop my uh, cop a feel of what I had, making me go a gasp. Still, don't know why you were so embarrassed of showing me your your stripes before, handsome. You're beautiful. He was giving me a few strokes, hands uh slick from how much he was uh, leaking before. It was just having. It was just different having someone else touch you is uh, like this, and it felt good. I looked up at him, and he was just uh, uh, watching my face shift as I enjoyed the attention, dipping uh, my eyes down for only a second to sneak another glance at his drunk as uh, got me a nonverbal invitation from him to Copperfield. It was warm and heavy, uh, leaking right into right onto my fur, making me wonder what if uh, I should have uh, showered before this rather than before. Showered after this rather than before. What's the matter? Just wondering why you leak so much. That and thinking maybe I should have showered after he did this. He laughed, patting me gently uh, on the thigh. It makes for good lube if you're already going to uh, attend to your own needs. I, I suppose that must be handy. <laughs> handy, huh? Well, if you insist. Wait, I didn't. Dean shifts his uh, hips, uh, pulling his dick away from uh, my hand and settling it down on mine, taking both in his hands and slowly staring uh, to pump them together. His voice was uh, held low, a satisfied smile on his face as uh, stroke after stroke uh, drew out a soft moan from me. Uh, feels good, right? I nodded quickly, unsure of where to hold my hands while Dean had everything handled. I adjusted my hips slightly, wrapping my legs around his waist for the time being. Just lay back and enjoy, Dave. He was getting real. He was getting me uh, close fast, and I think my whisper was giving it away. I hadn't had a chance to properly tend to myself with everything going on, and it was enough to kill my libido. But even at the uh, faintest uh, thought of being, of that being the case, was uh, uh, what Dean was uh, doing to me was drowning all the worries I had uh, been holding on to. Uh, Dean. Yeah. I'm getting close, so... There was a smile, though. That lusty, uh, confident smirk that made me realize just how much I was, uh, putty in his hands. He eased back, uh, bringing me, uh, down from my high and shifting us again. Do you trust me? Yes. He spat in his hand and dipped his, uh, spare hand underneath my tail, uh, keeping his eyes on mine. Don't worry. I'm going to go to, uh, gentle and slow. Just relax, and if you're uh, if you're going to come, just go for it, all right? I nodded slowly, only half aware as to uh, what he was uh, getting at before he started uh, pushing in. Much like everything else uh, on him, his fingers were thick, and as Dean started to uh, push in, I gasped, hissing from the uh, sudden intrusion. But he stopped all the same, wanting uh, wanting for me to give him the go-ahead to continue. All it took was a nod, and he started to um, uh, back up with the strokes, easing more of his finger into me. There you go. I had my eyes uh, covered with an arm while <laughs> my other was uh, gripping the bedsheets. I was in sensory overload, right down to my toes curling up as Dean's worked me over. But then he, uh, he hit something that was, that made me gasp, drawing out a loud moan from me and making me shrink back down into the bed soon after he sh in shame. Did I just... Uh, well, that's good to know. He chuckled, uh, pressing against the, the spot again and drawing out another moan from me, if slightly more controlled. <laughs> Feels good? Feel good, handsome? Uh, did I find your button? I whined as he continued rubbing and pressing gripping me together all and closer to climax faster than I could process. 
Okay. Uh, before I could uh, even get the words out, I was gritting my teeth as it hit, as it hit, half uh, bucking the into Dean's hand as he uh, let me ride out my orgasm. No sooner than I uh, sigh out uh, my breath, Dean quickly attended to my to himself, holding my gaze before adding to the mess on my front. As much as I felt sticky and gross, it felt awesome. A dumb smile uh, plastered on my face uh, as I uh, watched Dean uh, retrieve the towel he'd uh, shed from me and started to clean up, clean up on himself before putting his underwear back on. Feel better? <laughs> yeah. I was out of breath and I was I was conscious of how covered I was in the uh, evidence of a good time. I'd have rolled over and slept, fallen asleep right then. Dean helped me to get up, and uh, together we toweled me off. I'm gonna need a shower in the morning, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry about that, but probably. Unless you wanted to rinse off now and just uh, make sure you don't go around smelling like me tomorrow. Unless you want to. I should probably rinse off, but depending on how much you drool, though, I might need a shower in the morning. Dean places his uh, hand around my shoulder, making me, um, uh, see, looking at me, uh, seriously, if happy. How are you feeling otherwise, though? Oh, good, I think. Uh, maybe a little sore, but a good sore. I gingerly rub my butt, but the idea that Dean had been able to do that to me still making my head spin. Well, good. You seem to enjoy it. I know I did. I did, yeah. What's wrong? Nothing really. Just wondering what happens next. Sleep, depending on how it, on if you uh, you take that shower first or not. Not that. I mean, like doing more stuff, uh, more of that stuff. Well, that's mostly up to you. I still reckon we're a ways off of getting under your tail proper, though. Dean smacks me firmly on the rear, holding his hand there. But if you uh want me. We'll get in there uh, uh, quickly. Don't uh, don't you worry about that. I chuckle, feeling my face go red. Well, as long as we take it slow, and I have enough uh, lube, that should be uh, fine, right? He leans down and kisses me atop the head before uh, stepping aside. Go rinse off, and I'll meet you in bed. If you're going to go for round two, then we can take it from here. Otherwise, let's just cuddle until we fall asleep. Uh, all right. After a quick shower, I rejoin Dean in bed, opting instead to uh, just stay naked. He'd seen it all now, so it seems like the perfect night to try something different. Having leaned, learned uh, from last night we shared a bed together, uh, Dean seemed to uh, only have a single light sheet covering us, but his body was warm enough to not need anything else. We cuddled for a bit before I realized he fell asleep with his arms around me, uh, cradling me close. It took me a little a little longer, mind wandering about what we'd uh, just done and if it was alright, or what it meant moving forward. Not that I didn't enjoy it, perhaps it was just guilt that I was looking forward to the next time. But eventually, sleeping next to me, I blacked out. Eventually, a sleep found me, and I blacked out, nestling uh, in against his broad chest. Okay. Day 10. Let's just, uh... Aww. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> fun, fun times. <laughs> Uh, just let what happens happens, Dave. Come on. A massive brown greets me as I look around, and Dean's broad chest acting as a secondary pillow. In fact, it wasn't even all that wet compared to my last experience with him, so even the drooling was a non-issue. I could tell he was, uh, he was sleeping well, as he, when I pulled back, he, um, uh, he was smiling softly. My mind immediately snapped back to the last night as I... I lifted the covers, realizing that I was naked beside Dean. Part of me wondered if I was uh, meant to have asked him to stay naked too, but that was hardly the priority right now. 
I eased away from him and got up. I got dressed and made my way downstairs. It was uh, early, earlier than uh, what anyone. Oh, okay, let's just let's just go. Huh? How much did you hear? Oh, okay. How much did you hear? Oh, I heard nothing unless you uh, want me to pretend to have heard something. Oh, no thanks. That's fine. <laughs> you gonna be all right? I don't know. Get some fresh air and yeah. Ah! He's he's a he's a smiley boy with Dean. Okay, okay. I had noticed that in the the other portraits I got with this scene, uh, a lot of them, like the the Tyson one, he was smiling, but with Sal, maybe there's a second one with Sal where Dave is smiling. I don't know. Uh, and but like the the one that I saw with Sal, Dave was frowning, and the one with Oswin, he was frowning. So I was like, it'd be really funny if he was frowning in all of these except for the Tyson one. Who is best boy? I will die on that hill. <laughs> uh, Dave, you doing all right? I almost jumped, looking back and wondering, and watching as Dean came over to stand next to me. Yeah, just had uh, stuff on my mind. Nothing you did, just personal stuff. I shot him a glance, uh, seemingly cutting off. Cutting him off from asking in the first place. <laughs> Was I that obvious? A little. But I promise it's nothing you did. You don't want to talk about it? I didn't say that, but I didn't I want to wake you. You seem comfortable. Well, I was. After what we did, it was pretty draining. I smirked, uh, shooting him a look. <laughs> what? Only after going once? He chuckled, uh, shaking his head. Don't test me uh, on that unless you're ready for a long night, Dave. He stood around for a bit before he broke the silence again. It's a nice out. It's nice out this morning, huh? I guess so. Oh, come on. Even without coffee, you should admit it's pretty nice. See, look. The sun is about ready to rise over the trees. Dean pointed to the spot off to the side, and we watched uh, as the sun began to rise over the trees, being as high. Something about it seemed clearer, but maybe less special than it was uh, than if we were uh, seeing it from the horizon. Guess next time I'll have to take you somewhere. <clears throat> Guess next time I'll have to take you somewhere you can uh, see it over, see it rise over the water. Next time. Assuming you're ever up this early again, could always spend every morning sleeping, sleeping in if you, if you can too. Doesn't bother me. Totally not an excuse to tend to my uh, morning wood, huh? He laughed, uh, clapping me on the back. Hey. If that's an off, if if the offer is there, but still, what's gotten you so uh, feisty this morning? Feisty, really? Well, you're more functional than normal. If this is what uh, losing your virginity does to you, then I wonder what it's going to be like uh, after you get the real thing. Nat was my turn to laugh, part embarrassed, but uh, part curious. Maybe. I think a lot of it is just uh, comes down to me just uh, having decided something. Something good? I don't know. Hopefully. Well, if I can help, let me know. Thanks, Dean. I'm going to head inside and take a shower. Maybe doze off a bit longer before we uh, need to get up. Want to join me? Dean leans in and presses his nose against my neck, grinning. You might, uh, you might want to, or at the very least, have one yourself. What, do I smell that bad? It's noticeable. Well, let's put it that way. He leans back uh, in to kiss me on the cheek, heading to the back door. 
When he was uh, back inside, I looked out to the world in front of me. I liked Dean. I really liked Dean. Maybe it was uh, some of the qualities in him that reminded me of how carefree Dad was, or maybe it was just that he was a dork while being confident that put me at ease. That, and I did find him quite attractive. Maybe it was just his fur, or how big he was. Or, now that I was better acquainted, how big he was in other areas, too. He was right, though. Having a shower might be the right call. And I headed back in to freshen up. Not with Dean, though. I felt that I, if I did that, I'd end up with a repeat uh, performance of last night, leading to yet another shower. Oh, okay. I smirked at the idea of making a cup for Dean and taking, him, taking it up to him. It seemed like something he'd do for me, but if he was showering or even just sleeping, coffee wasn't the way to, uh, to go. Yeah! This is the, the one portrait, right? Oh, what? Yes. Let's get underway. Yeah, I ah, I still love this. It's so cute. It's so cute. Dave is a happy boy. He's not fully traumatized yet. It's not day 17, Dave. Well, day 17, anyone, where they're just like, they're done. <laughs> they're, they're so done with the vacation. Ah. Uh... Okay, pancakes are good, and... I don't know if I uh, heard him come in, but I was uh, interrupted with a quick kiss on the cheek. Uh, oh. <laughs> Good morning again, handsome. Need any help? No, I think I've got it. <laughs> you sure? Dean buried his nose into my neck and chuckled quietly. Someone had a shower, but <laughs> didn't clean himself properly. I chuckled back, uh, fidgeting while uh, he held me in place by my hips. I had one after breakfast. I'll have one after breakfast. If I didn't have one earlier, I'd offer to join you. But you do smell enough like a bear that you don't need any more of, me, of my help. Is it really that bad? Like I said, it's noticeable. But I can only smell it, uh, uh, smell you when I'm nearby. I'd be more worried uh, about what Tyson thinks. Why Tyson? Dean shifts on his feet, looking me over. No reason. Come on, please. Well, his nose must be pretty good, right? On account of, you know... Oh, well, maybe. He hasn't said anything yet, but I don't know. As much as I, uh, like the reason why you're smell... Uh, like the reason why you're smelling the way you are, you need another shower. Promise me you'll have one after breakfast. Alright, I promise. Good. Now I'm going to get some coffee in me, and take the pot out for anyone uh, else that might want it. With an affirmation nod, Dean wanders over to the coffee pot and pours himself a cup, winking at me uh, as he uh, uh, left through the door to the dining room. Shaking my head, I turn back to the, um, to the oven and pulled the pancakes out, a task I set myself I got distracted by, yeah. I looked to Dean and placed a hand on him, uh, on his arm. I wasn't sure if he knew what, what, I, what I was thinking, but his expression shifted uh, ever so slowly to one, uh, one of understanding. Alright, so, we'll be back. We'd gotten up, uh, and we led each other out of the dining room towards the back door. Dean ushered me out, following me close behind and closing the door behind us, so we, uh, could have some privacy. If anything, uh, Dean bringing me out outside was much like the night I'd saved him, saved his life, or at least I'd assumed that's what I did. Dave, what's wrong? Uh, I'll be okay. I just, I just need... I double over, queezing. No sooner uh, had I propped myself up on my knees, and Dean was by my side, rubbing my back. Hey! Dean, what if I can't do it? What if I fail? 
Calm down. Uh, slow down. Uh, can't do what? Fail what? Keeping everyone alive. He breathed out heavily through his nose, patting me on the... A little, uh, firmer on the back. Don't be silly. No one's going to die. Uh, I went to retort, picking myself up just enough to look him in the eye. But the moment I went to open my mouth, he grabbed me roughly and kissed me. Stunned, he pulled me back and looked me dead in the eyes. What did you tell me this morning? If I can help, uh, let me know. But what if you can't? And what if I want to try? Now, what is it that you want to do? How are we tackling this? We, I don't... Come on, Dave. We're in this together. Scavenger hunt partners and, um... Well, let's start there. But I insist on helping regardless. So, what do we do first? I wrapped my arms around his middle and returning his, uh, the gesture in kind. I was thinking of trying to piece together what I saw in the vault. Maybe try to see if, uh... Uh, there's something I can learn from what... Uh, from that and what I can do to stop it from happening. It didn't happen the first time, so let's count on a, count that as our first win. Our second win, though. Let's say that, uh... Let's say that one can be taking a shower. We're going to need help on the, this mission on ours. And I don't think two people smelling of bear is going to be pleasant. I didn't smell that bad, though. I meant to smell like a bear, but maybe uh, throwing on some cologne could help. You, um, you though, uh, can smell like a bear later when uh, it's behind closed doors. If you're, if you're keen on that. I laughed, embarrassed, but it was doing wonders for my morale. Okay, fine, I'll go shower. And while you do that, I'll go see if I can find anyone who might be able to help out. I'll meet you out here. Okay, I think that's a, a decent place to leave off this part. You know, a nice, uh, you know, <laughs> have the nice late night private session and then a nice morning scene. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, yeah, I'll see you around, everyone.